Hello children how are you all hope you all fine and safe i am mrs rani third standard science teacher please take care of yourself children please be safe and stay safe today we are going to start a, a new lesson lesson number 3 force okay are you ready to learn children okay come on let's go force lesson first we are going to learn and understand about the simple movements and actions in our daily life we are doing lot of actions like pushing pulling twisting turning jumping running walking sitting no why you have studied about the action words in english also isn't it so you know what is action isn't it children okay so in these actions uh it helps to move or change the shape of an object is called the movement okay for example you can see uh i have a toys here i have displayed a two toys here this dino having a ball in his hand isn't it see it's playing a catch and catch okay you know what is catch and catch isn't it children when the one boy or girl the person will be throwing a ball the other person will be catching the ball isn't it so when the ball is coming straight away to this dino this dino will be just changing his hands to catch the ball isn't it so when it's coming like this it will try to catch the ball isn't it it's it taking the hand like this that is the movement okay now after that it catching the ball we say this action is called as a catching isn't it so the movement and which helps to require the same result okay the correct result that is the, it's helping to catch so that is the moving the object moving the things or moving our ourselves that is called movement okay children okay i have a small puppet in my hand okay say hi to everyone hi yes okay simple one more example for this movement and the action see this puppet is going to do one small performance for you okay what it's doing now what it's doing it's shaking its hip okay it's twisting it isn't it so this twisting it's a movement and end of the result you can see what you are seeing now what the puppet is doing it's dancing isn't it children so the dancing is a action understood so the when it's twisting its hips okay when it's twisting like this bending like this this is called movement next we are going to understand about motion okay what is motion an object or any things okay any things which move from one place to another okay see how how this toy is moving from here to here okay i am i am just moving it isn't it so this movement okay this things are moving from this one place to another this is called as a motion okay children you understood now okay how it is moving with the force i am applying on this with the force i am pulling it isn't it yes i am pulling it and i am pushing it isn't it so the force which is used okay to make the things or object to move to one place to another that is the motion and the what the energy or what the power we are using it isn't it to push or pull that is called force okay force is a push or pull okay on an object which makes it move okay when you are pushing when you are pushing the object okay in the direction of the object it is called push okay you can see the object it's moving in the front this is called pushing okay children okay when you are pulling when you are pulling the object in the opposite direction see when you are pulling it in the opposite direction of the object when you are taking to your own direction okay this is called pulling so the force is nothing but a push a pull on an object this is called a force okay children now by seeing this picture you can identify the motion and the force isn't it in this picture you can see few example for push force applied in the direction of an object it is called push 
In this picture, you can see few example for pull. A force applied in the opposite direction of an object is called pull. That's all for today's class, children. We learned about today a uh, moment, motion, force, push, and pull. In the next class, we will study about the effects of force. Thanks for watching.